All right, hi everybody. Learc here again, also known as Wiso for those of you who know me by that. Uh, this is gonna just be a quick little video, hopefully, hopefully quick, about my uh, way to easily level your battle pets. Um, I just happened to stumble upon it. I'm sure other people have figured it out before me, but I'm just gonna share it with you anyway. So, um, first and foremost. Uh, have a pet that you want to level, have something that can counter an elemental, and have a pet, preferably um, pedal feet, that can hit multiple enemies with its abilities while not hitting them too hard. Uh, for example, Tidal Wave and this uh, Rapid Fire ability. Now, the reason why I say um, a multi target ability is. Um, mostly because we don't ever want to fight Caradai or Slothus. They're just far too annoying and it's far too kind of time consuming. So what I'm going to show you right here um, is just the way I do it. And that is by completely avoiding those other two pets altogether. Now first off I have my leveling pet here in the beginning. Um, it is my ancient nest guardian. It took me a while to get it through archaeology, but well worth it. Just I think that that model is just so cool. Um, I switch to pedal feet, and I just start spamming my rapid fire. There's uh, there's not a lot of, not a lot to do. Um, so just sit back and relax. Um, you get to click one button for quite a while. But what this does is you'll notice that it's hitting all three mobs all three pets yeah it doesn't do a lot of damage but I'm also not dying see I should have died right there but because the pet has an ability called weakening blow that doesn't take you below one health um, you can pretty much just live forever which is what I'm gonna do live forever and just gonna chill here shoot these two guys over and over and over and over again. Actually, I really only figured this out because I beat these guys before, but I kind of forgot how I beat them. So I was perusing Wowhead earlier today, and uh, in the comments, after just looking up one of the, the battle pets' names, uh, somebody had mentioned to use Pedal Feet. And they said just spam rapid fire until Caradai and uh, Slopus died. And I was like, how is that possible? I'm getting killed. How am I supposed to survive? And it didn't dawn on me until a lot later that Petal Feet doesn't die. Or none of your other pets will die. So long as you keep up Mr. Terrible, he just keeps hitting you with weak blow so that was a total you know light bulb moment there afterwards um, you also notice that he does an ability called spiked skin um, which pretty much absorbs anything that is uh, 115 damage and under so you don't do any damage um, to him unless he doesn't have that off which is also why I haven't killed myself yet Now, I don't normally like to pet battle, but I, uh, I, I do it casually, and I am one of those people that, if there's an easier way to do it, I will do my best to find it, um, because I cannot stand leveling pets, I cannot stand, you know, going out and doing dailies every single day just to get something up a few levels so it'll be at 25, I just... I don't like doing it and it's really nice that I found that I could do it this way so um, while I have this pet battle up today I'm gonna keep doing it until I uh, level a few more pets now unfortunately you can't get any more of those marks of you know pet battle uh, stuff that gives you the eight charms because it's daily which is okay this is perfectly fine with
I know I haven't put out a video either in a couple of weeks. Uh, I've just been really busy with the holidays and all. So now that the holidays are over and work has returned to its normal, dull schedule, I'll be able to put out some more videos here soon. Uh, I'm thinking about putting out a video about uh, raid leading slash guild leading um, and what you know some of my practices are and just general tips for people. Um, I've always kind of wanted to make a guide about it since I've been a guild leader and raid leader for so long. Now I'm not saying I'm the best, I'm not saying that I know more than anybody else does, but I have definitely learned a lot. And I think with this being a new expansion and a lot of new guilds popping up, um, just like there is with any expansion or content patch, there's a lot of stuff that new leaders, um, that they need to know that they don't know. And I really just want to kind of share it. So that's, that's pretty much what I plan to do. Um, and here, look, I just killed myself. Yep, I'm a genius. I am a genius. But anyway, um, I'm also thinking of making my Crowd Warrior guide into a video guide um, to put that on with it as well. Now, one other thing, um, you see I've swapped to my Purple Puffer, which is aquatic, and it has two abilities that counter the elemental, which is Surge and, yeah, Surge and Pump. Now, I just charge up Pump, and then I shoot Mr. Terrible, and it's gonna probably kill me, but that's okay because I killed him anyway. And I still have one pet alive. You can do it that way. You can also just do it and uh, make it so that your pet doesn't die by waiting out his stacks of spike skin. But honestly, after spending that much time waiting for rapid fire to kill those two other pets, I just really don't care. Just want to get it done, move on, do it again. Um, anyhow, so that's the guide. There's not a lot to it. Hopefully you guys liked it. Um, you can pretty much do this with any other kind of pets that have similar abilities. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.